we were performing somewhere, the one children's show I've done, a cold old friend, and we were hanging around the stage door, and, and as it turned out, the theater that we went to play, the production manager was an old friend of mine, and his wife was a company manager at another theater where I played regular in Toronto. And he had gone for a drink at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, he was 35 years old, uh, lifted his glass and fell over dead. Just boom, like that. And over the next four weeks, his wife was inconsolable, and on the first night and for four weeks after that, tried repeatedly to take her own life. And she did succeed um, eventually within the month. And so we were in the theater of this guy, and then she was a close friend, and we were talking about this, and I said, you know, it's funny, this thing went, what, how come some people get to be happy? I mean, what is this thing about grief where it throws some people into the barrel of hell, and other people it's just a wall and they keep hitting it, but there are some who can actually climb over the wall and reach up. And there was a pause, and we all looked at each other and went, oh, shit, there's another show. And that's where happy came from. And it was just this idea of what does grief do? What is grief? So I started exploring that. And yeah, as part of my research went to Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's, you know, five stages of death and dying and of grief, um, which, which you learn very quickly is highly disputed and even Kubler-Ross herself says, well, there's more than five stages, but it sounded good and I sold a lot of books, so I'll just stick with that. But she's highly disputed um, by people who are grief counselors that there are even five stages of grief. But it existed as a beautiful template for a show within a show in Happy of the Great Cabaret, where Antoine Marionette, this macabre master of so ceremonies in this gray world, shows us denial, anger, acceptance, all of this stuff. So, you know, we have, we have a, a, a Chantou singing a song about denial, and we have a Punch and Judy segment for anger. And so that's where all of those segments came from to mirror the journey of the central character, Carla, in the play Happy. Um, I, it's funny, I, I suppose if I were a better businessman or did better demographics of my audience, I would think of what the audience might want next.